Here we look at the mean value theorem for definite integrals, and you'll you'll probably notice that we've already had a mean value theorem, and that was involving derivatives. This one involves integrals, but they're actually related, and you'll see later in the future why they're related. But um, this is actually a very important theorem. It's actually the theorem behind the fundamental theorem of calculus. So um, we'll want to make sure we understand it. And it's pretty simple, but really, it says basically that if you take um, if you take a function f of x and you look at it on an interval a to b, and now your function has to be continuous. So, as long as that's the case, then at some point on this interval a to b, there is a c value such that f of c equals the average value of f of x. And we've already defined what the average value was, so another way of saying this is, in other words, f of c equals the average value which we saw to be 1 over b minus a, the integral from a to b, of f of x. So, so what is this saying? It's really just saying um, <clears throat> that the average value is going to be found uh, somewhere in between these two y values here on your interval a to b. In other words, there's some c I can send to the average value, and it will occur. Uh, it will occur inside this interval. Um, so, like, if you we can we can kind of unpack that even more. This here, you'll notice, is the minimum, right, that's the, the, the minimum value of the function happens to be here at a, f of a, right, so if I make that rectangle, right, that's, that's clearly less than, um, than the, the integral. If I make this other rectangle, which I'm determining by using the maximum value, which in this case happens at b. Well, that area is too much, right? But the average value happens somewhere in between. So if you imagine just sort of lifting, um, making this small rectangle grow in size, at some point, it's going to be the perfect height. It's going to be the perfect height so that it equals its y value equals the average value. So let's just say that's that's the average value. Notice that there is some c here such that when I take the uh, evaluate the function at c I'm going to get the average value. If we kind of mess with this, home, uh, this equation a little bit and multiply both sides by b minus a you get You get that, and here on the left is just a rectangle, right? It's a rectangle with a base b minus a and the height f of c, and we're basically saying that the integral can always be can always be um, equivalent to the area of some rectangle, um, and that rectangle can be determined by a y value whose uh, whose x coordinate is somewhere on that interval there. So. Um, this is a very important theorem. It's actually going to be used in the, f the proof of the fundamental theorem of calculus. But for now, just keep in mind um, keep in mind that this is an existence theorem, which tells us that even if we don't know where it is, somewhere on that interval there is a c such that f of c equals the average value. And that's the mean value theorem for definite integrals. Let's look at a problem involving the mean value theorem. And it starts with this function. It's a, a linear function on the interval 0 to 5. And the first question is, what is the average value of that function? So this is g of x. And the average value of the function on the interval 0 to 5. Well, the average of g of x is just going to be 1 over b minus a would be 5 minus 0. The integral from 0 to 5 of g of x. So, 
this integral here I can I can use geometric methods to find that. I don't even need to know what the function is necessarily. So this area here, let's break that up into a rectangle and a triangle. This area has 5 times 2, that's 10. And this area here has looks like hmm, looks like we may need to get get a little more info here. So we need to know that this is definitely one half. We need to know that's definitely one half. So let's see, this function is a y intercept of two and a slope of one half. So it's actually y equals one half x plus two. So when I plug in 5, I get 2.5 plus 2, which is 4.5. Okay, so now we know that's 4.5. So this has two, uh, side of 2.5 times the base of 5. So that's 2.5 squared, which gives me, so that's it's 5 halves times 5 halves gives me 25 fourths. So all together that's six and a fourth plus ten, so it's sixteen and a fourth. And so the average value would be let's write that as sixty-five fourths. So the average value is sixty-five over twenty, which is about three and a fourth, or is three and a fourth? So 3.25, the average value is like roughly here. All right, so that's the average value. So now we're asked something else. We're asked to...